You know, I got to thinking here. And sometimes when I think, I just can't hold it inside. <laughs> so I've been thinking about the Bengals right now and where they're at. And Joe Burrow is saying he is injured. Well, here's the thing. If, if, if Joe Burrow, well, first of all, Zach Taylor, you got to make some decisions. Because if Joe Burrow is injured the way he says he is, then he shouldn't be starting Monday night. And we, then you got to go with Jake Browning. Because there comes a point in time, people, where if you're playing injured, you're actually doing more harm than good. So if Joe Burrow is really injured that bad, he needs to go to Zach Taylor and say, you know what, I need a game or two just to sit down and rest, and I'm okay with that. Like I said, I'm okay with a mediocre year. I mean, that's okay if, it, if that's what it's going to take for him to heal properly. And uh, see, this is what I'm talking about when I say Mike Brown's a terrible owner. Because why would you sign a guy a huge contract while he's playing injured. I mean, think about that for a second. You give him one of the biggest contracts in NFL history, and he's literally playing on one leg. <laughs> I mean, it's like, you know, he's rolling the dice saying, well, see, Mike Brown's okay with being mediocre. That's the problem. And, and listen, I know I'm going to get... I know I'm going to get people that are going to say, well, we went to back-to-back -back AFC championship games. Well, yeah, that's all fine and great. But almost doesn't count, okay? Almost is not okay. That would be like me going to my employer and saying, well, I almost did my job right, so give me a raise. No, it don't work that way. Yes, Joe Burrow has done some great things, no doubt about it. And I think he is playing hurt. And if that's the case, he needs to sit out a couple games. Because all he's doing, I mean, obviously he's not doing worth a damn right now anyway. So why not just sit, sit out and take some time to heal yourself? You know, and I know some of this can't go on Zach Taylor because I think a lot of Zach Taylor's decisions are getting overrun by Mike Brown. I mean, my, you know, I've been thinking about this hard. And if you guys really think about it, this is what I'm talking about, okay? When Carson Palmer got his leg blown out in that 2005 playoff game against the Steelers, Mike Brown should have said right then and there, okay, you know what? I need to start looking for a quarterback. I'll give him maybe a year at best, and we'll see if he recovers. But Mike Brown didn't do that. See, Mike Brown... Again, is okay with being mediocre. So, <laughs> now Carson Palmer ended up did, he did do some things like in Oakland and Arizona. But, I mean, anybody that had this much of a brain could see after that injury that Carson Palmer was never going to be the same. And it's a crying shame because in that aspect you know, I think Palmer could have maybe gotten a Super Bowl ring because he was a really talented quarterback at the time, but that injury just killed him. So he kept Palmer too long. Then he goes to Andy Dalton, and we, <laughs> you guys know on my channel, I said for the last three, four years he was there, the guy ain't the answer. And what does Mike Brown do? Mike Brown just accepts it because, you know, Mike Brown's cheap, which is why, I, you know, honestly, I can't believe Joe Burrow got the contract he did to begin with because anybody who's been a Bengals fan knows, I mean, Mike Brown doesn't necessarily have the greatest track record. Uh, I mean, I still say if it wasn't for uh, Ryan Leaf and Jamarcus Russell, <laughs> Achilles Smith would have to be right up there with all of them as one of the worst draft picks ever. And then, you know, like I said, he held on to Carson. He kept Marvin Lewis probably at least, at least five years too long. You know, 
I mean, look at what the Steelers are doing. I mean, there is no reason this team should be 0-2 right now. No reason. Except for the fact that Mike Brown is a terrible owner. I mean, look what the Steelers are doing to the Browns tonight. I mean, come on, an argument could be made. The Steelers got half the talent we do. I mean, the fact that you could only put up three points against your di division opponent opening week, that's just unacceptable. Three points? I mean, give me a break. And I know people are going to say, well, we, you know, we started 0-2 last year. Yeah, and I am still optimistic, but I'm just calling it the way I see it. If Joe Burrow is playing injured, he needs to sit out. It's just no bottom line. Well, it's the bottom line. I mean, when, you know... You know why the Steelers are looking this good against the Browns right now? Because they are a well-rounded organization. They have owners that know what the hell they're doing. I mean, let's be honest about it. Kenny Pickett is half the talent Joe Burrow is. But if you're at a well-rounded organization, you can thrive off that. See, Mike Brown's not a good owner. So every time we do get some talent, it just goes to the wayside because he doesn't know how to make good decisions. I hate to say this, but, well, I'm going to say it. It's almost like the Vikings. I mean, you can clearly see Kirk Cousins ain't the answer. And like I said, I know he's got a playoff win at least, but he's basically another Andy Dalton. He's going to get you to the dance, but that's it. And the, And... You know, when Andy Dalton first came, he went he did good in the regular season. He got I think it was 9 and 7, 10 and 6, 11 and 5. He he had 3 years there where he had winning records to a coming off a terrible you know era that we were in. So Andy Dalton did do some good things, but when he goes 0 and 3 in the playoffs, that should tell you right there that the guy ain't the answer. But instead, what does Mike Brown do? Huh. Well, again, being mediocre, he's okay with that. See, if you look at uh, organizations like New England, I understand Tom Brady is basically a god. I mean, no, there'll probably never be another Tom Brady. But outside of that, if you look at the Patriots organization and the Steelers organization, and, I mean, look look what, the, look what the Cowboys are doing with Mike McCarthy. I understand it's, it's the Giants and the Jets, but still, 70 points to 10 points? I mean, come on. Now, if Jerry Jones can do that, why can't we? I know some people think I'm just a hater on Mike Brown, but no, guys, everything I've said in this video is true. The guy is... <laughs> I, I don't see us ever getting anything as long as Mike Brown's the owner. Because, again, he's just... He's a mediocre owner, at best, on his best day. You know? I mean, opening day, you guys uh, put up three points on the road. I understand losing. Maybe, you know, if it was like 24-21 or like this last game against the Ravens, if it was something like that, then I wouldn't be so distraught. But, I mean, come on. Give me a break. Oh, and by the way, speedy recovery, prayers to Nick Chubb. They wouldn't even show the the replay, so that tells you how bad the injury was. So, thoughts and prayers to him. You never want to see a guy get injured. Zach Taylor, you got to make some moves. I mean, <laughs> don't tell me. And listen, people think maybe that I like Joe Burrow. I like Joe Burrow, but you know what? If a year or two down the road, he sucks. I'm okay with getting rid of him. Do not tell me we're going to go through another Andy Dalton. 
keeping a quarterback four or five years too long. I can't do that again. Seriously. I'm never going to jump ship, but I'm telling you, I don't have to support it either. Mike Brown, honestly, <laughs> I can't stand him. Seriously. He has got to be, you know, everybody kept saying that Al Davis was a bad owner. Hey, at least Al Davis took his team and got to the Super Bowl and won it. Jerry Jones, hey, at least he got Super Bowl rings. Anyways, guys, I know it's kind of a, t a rant, but we this organization going forward, that's what we got to do. You shouldn't be playing a quarterback if he's injured. Because obviously, <laughs> like I said, it ain't going to help. What do we got to lose? You know? Anyways, guys, we'll see where we're at next week at this time. But honestly, <laughs> if Joe Burrow's playing on one leg, you guys need to make a move. Catch you guys later.